The U.S. government has seized California's embattled First Republic Bank, a major Wall Street bank. J.P. Morgan Chase is stepping in to buy it. The San Francisco-based First Republic is the third mid-sized bank to fail in two months after Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank will assume all of First Republic's loans and most of its assets. The bank has a large amount of uninsured deposits and a high exposure to low interest rate loans. Let's bring in Andrea Napori, who's joining us uh, on the set here for DW Business. So another bank in crisis. Walk us through what has happened to First Republic and, and how this takeover has unfolded. So as you mentioned, the problem with First Republic was the same that we saw before with uh, Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. So exposure to low interest rates, loans, a lot of uninsured deposits. And this is some, somehow a final ripple of what we've seen happening already in March. Uh, the bank was in trouble already for a while. Back in March, uh, other banks tried to uh, pump in liquidity and confidence by putting deposits into the bank. That didn't really work, um, especially the tipping point was last week when on Monday, the financial results for uh, First National Bank, uh, First Republic, sorry, bank came out and uh, it was clear that they were bad. So they lost more than 100 billion deposits um, in the last three months and the net income was down 40%. Like numbers that clearly would put any bank in a spiral. Now, First Republic was already in trouble. The FDIC, so the entity in the US that will uh, take care of these problems, came in very quickly during the week. And over the weekend then, um, they found, um, among all the offers that came from the private sector, a good one, which was the one from JP Morgan Chase. Now they're taking over. It's worth remembering this is the second, now second largest bank failure in US history with 230 billion of assets involved in this. How high is the risk of further contagion? Because I mean, that's what people are really worried about right now. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I would say that um, the FDIC uh, stepping in so quickly as is clearly um, put a hold in that. The, the, the biggest risk and, and the fear of investors would have been that the FDIC would take over the bank completely. Instead, what's happening is that the FDIC has favored a takeover from JP Morgan Chase. So private capital uh, taking over. In this case, as I said, this is a the final ripple uh, for a bank that was fitting that mold, low interest rates, uh, loans and exposure, uh, a lot of uninsured deposits. In that sense, uh, hopefully this is just the last, last chapter of that crisis if it's in March. In March, a lot of criticism for the lack of proper oversight that led to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. Um, have the lessons been learned? Tell us just briefly. Well, yeah, I, I would say the, the direct answer is yes, because if we've seen how the FDIC dealt with this problem right now, they were very quick to act and very quick to know that the real fear was them taking over. Instead, they favored a takeover from a private entity. Uh, basically, a big band came in with its war chest, and that's also, um, of course, um, ensuring and, and saying, look, the, the financial system in America is strong and resilient enough to do this. It doesn't need to a public intervention. Andrea Napori, DW Business, thank you so much.